I'm Kristen McCann, product specialist for Jadaria Woodwinds, and I am here with my friend and fellow saxophonist, Jeffrey Landman. How's it going, Kristen? Good, thank you. I was hoping that you wouldn't mind walking us through what assembly of your saxophone is like, because you know there's so many different pieces to our instrument. Putting the instrument together seems like a simple thing, but there's a lot that goes on here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the mouthpiece on the neck of the instrument. The reason I start there is because I want to make sure that I put the, neck, the mouthpiece on the neck without bending the neck. It's possible to do that if you put the neck and the instrument first. So to start with, I'm going to take some cork grease. This is the Dario All Natural Cork Grease. Put it on the neck cork here. Just rub that in a little bit. And then holding the neck up here so we don't bend it, we're going to put the mouthpiece on. And basically how far in on the neck dictates the intonation of it. So the farther in, the sharper you will play. The farther out, the flatter you will play. How do you know what's in tune? From experience of playing your instrument and your setup with other musicians, with a tuner, you get an idea of where the mouthpiece should be to get you in that range of being in tune. Obviously, once I start playing, I'll make some more adjustments. Okay. So once my mouthpiece is on the neck, then I'm ready to put the reed on the mouthpiece. So first, I'm gonna put the ligature on. That's what holds the reed. Then, I'm gonna grab a reed here. I'll put it in some water, very briefly. The water helps the reed to vibrate. That's, of course, what makes the sound for our woodwind instrument. Once it's just a little bit wet, we'll take it, get rid of the excess moisture, and put it on the table of the mouthpiece. Now it's important the tip of the reed makes contact with the tip of the mouthpiece. I check that by sort of pushing the reed against the facing of the mouthpiece and making sure it's lined up. I notice that you're doing that really, really gently. So I'm... I mean, millimeters, <laughs> millimeters make a big difference here. So once I have it with the tip of the reed making contact with the tip of the mouthpiece and centered on the mouthpiece, I'm going to tighten the ligature. How much do you tighten your ligature? Not too tight, finger tight. It shouldn't be loose on there, but we don't want it to be so tight that it makes the reed vibrate less. So here we've got the whole reed, mouthpiece, ligature, and neck set up ready to go. At this point, I'm just going to take the neck and put it on my saxophone body. I'll check to make sure that the neck is basically straight and in line with the instrument. And at that point, I'm ready to play. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for walking us through your process, Jeff. I, I did learn some new things. Great. <laughs>